Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. It's time right now to see part two of my interview with LSU baseball coach Paul Maneri. Good to see you, Rachel. Now let's talk about at the plate for the Tigers. Catcher Cade Savick hit two home runs Saturday, the first multi-home run game since Alex Bregman did so against Northwestern State last May. So how key was it that y'all were able to generate runs in different ways like that? Well, Rachel, in our first four games of the season, we only had five extra base hits. And then I think in these three games against Boston College, we had ten, if I'm not mistaken. And Cade Savick led the way. He had, had a two-homer game, as you mentioned. And Cade is a great story because he's such a wonderful young man, just really an outstanding person. And as a senior, he was our starting catcher last year as a junior, you know, there's been a lot of hype about our new freshman catcher, Michael Papirski. But Cade has showed tremendous poise and composure. Actually, Actually helped Michael not feel threatened by him at all and he's continued to be a great leader of our team so I'm just so happy that Cade has done so well and particularly with the bat now he's got three home runs already but he's been a leader Bregman has also uh, gotten hot Connor Hale and some of the other guys Andrew Stevenson had two triples in one game so all of a sudden we're starting to hit the ball with a lot more authority and that's a that's really a good thing to see because when you hit them over the outfield fence it's impossible to have bad luck <laughs> absolutely no doubt there and speaking of Alex Bregman uh, when he was actually slumping a little bit last season you praised him even more saying that he was even more valuable to the team so you must cherish every moment you have with him well, what I was talking about was, you know, what, usually when a player goes through a slump with his hitting, it carries into his defense or it carries into his enthusiasm or his hustle or, or, or he becomes very selfish. Alex Bregman was the opposite of that. When he was going through his worst hitting slump that he's ever had, his defense at shortstop was probably the best defense he's ever displayed. He continued to hustle, he continued to be a great teammate, and really cared deeply about the team's results. So I think what he did is he really showed the true character of himself last year when he was going through tough times. Now I'll tell you this, he's not going to go through those tough times this year. He's back swinging the bat the way that we know he can swing it. I don't have any doubt he's going to have an outstanding season offensively and continue to do the things defensively that he's done for two years here at LSU. So Alex Bregman has been a, a real uh, tre uh, treasure for us here in the LSU baseball program. Having the opportunity to coach him for two-plus years now is something that I'll cherish forever. Absolutely. Great start both on the field and off the field. Now, LSU's next game, of course, hosting Southeastern. And we know Doug Norman will get the midweek start. So, Paul, what was your message to him after a tough loss last Wednesday to Nichols? Well, you have to dwell on the positives that Doug did last week. He, uh, you know, he, Nichols got to him a little bit. And I, I give more credit to Nichols than I do blame to Doug. He threw a lot of strikes. He threw 71 pitches, 50 of, 51 of them were in the strike zone. Hey, I'll take that ratio any day. So what happens is you throw the ball over the plate, there's a chance they're going to hit it. And as I mentioned, Nichols had a really good approach against him. You know, they hit some balls hard, but they also had some hits that were very fortuitous on their part, weren't particularly hit that hard, but they found holes. So you can't let that discourage you as a young pitcher. There's no defense against the base on balls. If you throw the ball over the plate and they hit it, you give your chance, your defense a chance to make a play for you. So uh, hopefully Doug will go out there against Southeastern, continue to pound the strike zone. We'll have a little bit more luck and our defense will be sharp behind him. A good experience for the freshmen and their performance uh, this season is going to have a tremendous impact on the Tigers. Well, Paul, thank you so much for the time and we'll talk to you again soon. Always great to be with you, Rachel. Thanks for watching Talkin' Tigers. Tune in on Thursday when we'll talk recruiting. Thanks for watching.